Hi. In this session, we're going to focus solely on the plucking hand, and in particular, how to play open strings on the bass. Now, in theory, this all seems very simple and straightforward to do, and you might be very tempted just to move on, especially if you're able to, or you can play well already. But I encourage you to stick around, as something I discuss or show to you might inspire or help solve any difficulties that you might be experiencing with your plucking hand. So, let's introduce you to some concepts and methods that'll put you on the path to mastering the mechanics of playing the bass. The human body is an incredible machine, and how we use it to play and interact with a whole host of different instruments is nothing short of amazing. Just taking the time to watch and study a competent musician play their instrument is, in my opinion, something well worth doing, and regardless of instrument type, you may very well see and pick up on small details that you could use and apply to the bass guitar. Now all of these highly skilled players have something in common. They all possess great technique. And it's the ability of having complete control over their technique that allows them to do what they do. Any musician with great technique makes everything they play appear effortless and relaxed. However, I guarantee that they're not consciously thinking about their technique as they play. They're just letting it happen. This is because it's ingrained in them through dedicated practice and hard work. And not worrying about their technique allows them to focus purely on the music. And in turn, this gives them the ability to fully express themselves through the notes or rhythms that they choose to play. To simplify the concept, they think about playing and not how to play. Regardless of the lesson content, I'd really like you to take this concept on board as we move through these sessions together. Take your time and work on any new techniques until you end up not even having to think about them. Just let them happen and happen effortlessly. Building a foundation of good technique is, in my opinion, the key to being able to play the bass well. So, let's start working towards this now by looking at the plucking hand. The majority of bass players use the first two fingers of the plucking hand. These are the index finger and the second finger. Although nowadays it's not uncommon to see players using three and sometimes all four fingers on this hand. If you can, I recommend you check out Billy Sheehan and Matt Garrison to see great examples of three and four finger techniques. Both of these players are proof of what can be achieved if you're prepared to work hard at developing your plucking hand technique. After all, there's nothing like good inspiration. Now, I'm going to assume that you've never even played a bass before, so apologies to those of you that can already play. Just please stay with me and try out the following exercise. Who knows, it might even bring to your attention something about the way you've been playing your bass, and at least give you an opportunity to address it. Right, what I want you to do is take your plucking hand and reach it out in front of you at shoulder height. OK, stretch your hand fully and extend the fingers as far as they can go like this. Now, when I say I want you to completely relax your hand and arm to allow your fingers, but only your fingers, to drop. OK? Relax. This should immediately feel much more comfortable. And notice how everything in your arm, and in particular your fingers, feels much freer. Also notice how the thumb hangs down with the fingers when the hand is totally relaxed. More on this very shortly. Now, keeping your arm in the same position, wiggle your index and second fingers like this, and pretend that you're plucking an imaginary bass string in mid-air. Get used to how this feels to move your fingers. This is how it should feel when you pluck the strings of your bass. Nice and relaxed and free from any tension. After all, isn't this how any competent musician with good technique interacts with their instrument? 
OK, let's take this hand and position it on the bass ready to play. To do this, quite simply transfer our relaxed hand shape onto the area above your pickups. We use the thumb to support the weight of our plucking hand and anchor it in a position like this, leaving our fingers resting on the strings. Notice how we can pivot and move our plucking hand using the thumb to gain access to each string while still maintaining the relaxed feeling in our fingers. If you can feel any tension creeping back into your plucking hand, just go back and repeat this little exercise again.